Welcome back. Yoga asanas help bring balance to our life in many ways. Our yoga guru Duncan Rice included the extended triangle pose in his yoga sequence as it is a foundational standing yoga pose, helping to increase flexibility and build core strength. Namaste and welcome to our yoga today. So we're going to be working on the yoga for the circulation. Uh, what's very interesting about yoga is that it really beautifully works the heart and the circulation system. And this is why we feel in yoga it's important to keep the heart and the circulation functioning properly. Uh, yoga has a profound effect not only in the asana uh, that we do, the postures, but also in the pranayama, the control of the breath. So we're going to show with one asana and one pranayama today how we can really develop the circulation in the body in the most profound way. So we're going to start coming and bringing our big toes together. We place our hands on our hips and we're going to step back with the right foot. Nice and wide and the back foot is going to be line, in line with the short edge of your mat, the front foot in line with the long edge of your mat. So we're going to just straighten the body so the whole body is in line with the long edge of the mat now. And then from here, we're just going to slowly bend over towards that left leg. So you feel the, the body open here. The right shoulder is pushing back. The right hip is pushing back. So the body is nice and open. We're not going all the way down yet. Uh, we're just going to gently lower the hand onto the left leg. So without compromising this position, you're going to take up the right hand and you're going to slowly take it down, around and up in front of you just to open into the shoulder girdle and stretch the hand, stretch up, fingers stretched. And if you have neck or shoulder issues, you just keep looking straight ahead. Otherwise, if you're able to, you're going to turn the head to look at the left foot Tuck the chin and slowly rotate the head around to look up at the right hand. And from here to come out, we bend into the front knee, push up, step to the front of your mat, then step back with the left foot. So we face, get the body to face the front edge of your mat, the long edge of your mat. The left foot is in line with the short edge of your mat. And you're just going to lean over towards that right foot. Gently bring the right hand down onto your leg and you bring out the left arm and you bring it down around and up as we did before. For those of you in this posture want to go down a little bit deeper, you can bring the hand onto the floor eventually, but without compromising your position. Long deep breathing here through the nose and then to come out we bend into the front knee, push up and step to the front of our mats. We grab the left wrist with the right hand behind the back, close the eyes and just feel that energy moving around the body. Not only can you feel the circulation of the blood moving into the tips of the toes and the fingers in that posture, and now we're going to come and do the pranayama practice. So we're going to come and sit in a comfortable seated position. So we come to sit on the floor. This pranayama is called Bastrika pranayama. It means the bellows breath. And like the bellows, when you're lighting a fire moving in and out, we're really going to try and move the breath long, deep, uh, breaths in and out. So it's a very powerful posture, not only for our fingers, we're also moving into the fingers to prevent arthritis in this practice. So we make fists with the hands by the side. As we breathe in a nice deep breath, we stretch the fingers up. As we breathe out, we make fists with the hands. It's a strong breath in and a strong breath out. So just remember, if you feel that you're getting a little bit lightheaded or you maybe feel you're going to hyperventilate, then obviously stop this and just breathe normally.
and stop. Bring the hands onto the knees and gently breathe in and hold the breath. This is a beautiful practice now of just feeling the energy moving around the body. Feel on the physical level the circulation flowing around the body. And feel on the pranic level, feel the energy also moving in the body from this practice. Thank you for joining us today. And we're just going to end now with the closing prayer. We bring our hands to Anjali Mudra. And the closing prayer means, may we all be happy. May we be free from illness. May we see what's auspicious and may there be no suffering. Om peace, peace, peace. Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha, Sarve Santu Niramayaha, Sarve Bhadrani Pashantu, Maha Kaschat Dukabhahak Bhave, Om Shanti 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 Hi.